Hey, uh, welcome to the next part of input widget series. In this, we are looking at the number input. So the idea here is uh, the widget enables us to accept numbers directly from the user. Just as slider, we can accept either an integer or a floating point number from the user. And that's basically how we list here in the type. And after we do that, we can specify a couple of uh, input parameters. We also have how much we want to increment and decrement by. This change happens in the steps we specified. If we don't specify anything, it's one for integer and point one for uh, floating point number. So now let's go and run this. And you can also specify a min max value. If the value exceeds this range, then basically it would not accept the input and you would get a message saying it's not valid. And let's go take a look at this and that should make it more clear. Okay, so we have the number here and if you look at the input number, what that's not selected here. So the min value is 10 and the max value is 10. So let's say I select nine and give an enter. Okay, so nine is accepted. If I give 11, 11 will error out. It said the number should be less than or equal to 10. So similarly, you give 10, 10 will be accepted here. Or you can decrement the number in the range in the using the slider bar that is still accepted. And if you look at this, we we don't need this, but in st dot right we are just printing the type. This is just to make you aware of this. So if I actually say the range for this, the max value is 1.0. So if I give 0.99, that would be a valid number. If I give 0.9, that is still a valid. If I give one that is still a valid. If I do 1.1, this should error out saying this is not a valid number. And if you look at this, so it won't accept the range. So let's say 0.9 and then let me let's do let's decrement this right. So like I mentioned here, if you don't list anything, it is 0.1 and here here it would also do this in the 0.1 if none is specified. So you can list uh, so to avoid this, you can actually uh, list a range and that should handle it. And the last part, we will be handling file upload and file download and see you around for that. Thank you for joining.